Well, 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 Sniz knows how to get banned on both Minecraft and MapleStory. Uh, hello friends, Sniz here, and we're restarting the series very, very early because, uh, I tried switching my spacebar and my alt key and got myself banned because I tried to, <laughs> yeah, tried to switch those keys functionalities and got myself banned using auto hotkey, which I did not know was bannable. Either way, we're here starting a new account called on a Thunderbreaker this time because I'm not interested in playing Nightwalker anymore as, yeah, as the previous interactions with it were not that great. So in the background, we're just going through the tutorial again. Uh, Thunderbreaker is the pirate class for the Singless Knight. Not much to explain there except, uh, yeah, except it's the pirate this time instead of the thief class for it. Uh, I did the basically the same thing. This first episode is basically just gonna be reiterating the stuff that we went over in the first episode. Uh, same goal: no trading, reboot, uh, solo progression. Going to be holding myself to that. And uh, after I complete the tutorial, I job advanced to Thunderbreaker, the first job advancement, of course. Uh, went and got some money and headed to Victoria Island. Uh, and we and the goal of this first video is just to get to level 30 guess get to the first job second job advancement excuse me and I'll see you then well so like last time I had it as soon as I arrived in Victoria Island I head to Pyrion to go get my three familiar cards of the junior boogie which as explained last time gives you a percentage of your mana back every so often which is very helpful so it saves on pots uh, Got three of those familiar cards, and then headed to my training area, which is the Flame Mimics, Golems, and Henesis, and trained there till level 20. Uh, I did not use the familiar card immediately because you have to be at least level 15 to use the Junior Boogie familiar card as they are level 15 monsters. Uh, other than that, uh, just remember to assign your skill points as needed, your ability points as needed, and just, I just kept training. Uh, nothing more, nothing less than that. Level 20, I unlock the TOTS know-how feature, so I'll get to explaining that once again. So, upon hitting level 20, and this applies every 10 levels up to level 60, you unlock a feature called TOTS know-how. TOTS uh, supplies you with a equipment box for every 10 levels, uh, up to level 60 as noted previously, as long as you go through the tutorials that it presents you with and a few other items depending on what the tutorials or explanations were based on. So uh, at level 20, I did it, got my level 20 box, so I get better equipment of course, and I was also given a beauty expansion slot which, you know, allows you to save your face uh, in case you want to use it later on because cosmetics in this game are a big part of the game and a lot of people spend a lot of money on them. Uh, I, I did note earlier, it, well, in the previous video, that I will only be spending up to, f I think, 25 or $50 on this game or 25-50k NX. Haven't decided on the exact amount as I haven't spent the money yet and I'm glad I didn't spend the money last time as that account's not banned. Uh, so we will not be touching auto hotkey ever again. Other than that, uh, I went back to training and I did not note, even though I did note before, because again, there's another video, I have Kishin on this map. Uh, one thing I have noted, I have to say I've noted it before, but uh, I haven't. I'll just treat it like it's a new series again. Uh, I will be using Kishin and I will use, be using Holy Symbol. Other party effects, I will not be using. Uh, that goes like, that's like... Sh party effects like sharp eyes or whatnot but if it's a map effect like kishin or like the mvp plus buff or other map effects that i have no control over i am not going to go out of my way to prevent them from happening as again i have no control over them but if someone were wanting to supply me with like sharp eyes or something i would have to decline politely because that is a damage buff that i would not normally have access to thus not making me a solo progression uh, Holy Symbol, on the other hand, is a training buff, so I will accept that because it just speeds up training and I don't like train- and no one wants to see me train for hours on end and not see progress when this is all about progression, so I will keep that in mind. I trained here till level 30 and then I went and did my uh, job advancement. Some other thing I should note is that I have a pet following me. Pets are very useful in this game and probably like- Though, if you're going to spend money on this game, especially in Reboot, is like the essential thing you need to spend money on, which is a pet. Pets loot items for you, so they do cause loot lag, which is a 
which is a very unfortunate thing, which we'll go more in depth on over when we start Mykana, but we haven't started that yet, but pets loot things for you, which is very, very helpful. They can also have some skills, uh, such as like buffing you, healing you, curing you, mana healing you, all, all sorts of things. Very, very useful little things. But uh, once I hit level 30, I went and did my second job advancement over in Areve, which is the home to the Sickness Knights, and I will see you then. So very simply, uh, the second job advancement is pretty simple, as most things are, uh, as most of them are. Uh, most job advancements, especially Sickness Knight and Explorers, involve you just either looting 30 items or killing 30 enemies, and this one is no different. I just killed 30 enemies, and I was done, and I job advanced. Uh, immediately, I switched to, uh, after job advancement, I signed my new skill points, got my new skills, tried them out, and I moved on to uh, Golden Beach using the Maple Guide. Maple Guide is a tr integrated training feature that allows you to move to the training map it suggests for free. So if you do not have a hyper teleport rock, which is basically a teleportation device, um, you can use the Maple Guide for free. I teleported to the Elenol theme dungeon, moved to Elena, then took the transcontinental shortcut to uh, the platforms, like where you would move to different continents, and then went down and went to Golden Beach, and then started training there with my Kishin already set up for me, which was, was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I remember to get my level 30 equipment box again from Tots, and I started training. Uh, this video is, I'm just trying to speed through this really quickly because uh, I switched up how I'm going to record. I'm not going to be recording every hour as that takes up way too much space and requires me to go through way too much footage. I'm just recording everything I think is important. So like every time I go for a huge training session, like every 10 levels I'm training, of course that'll shorten down as I get higher and higher leveled, whereas 10 levels might turn into five level training sessions or two or three or whatnot. Um... Also, it just makes less footage to record and it makes it easier to do recollections of them when I go back through and edit them. Other than that, this video is going to be relatively short as the first one was massive in comparison and I went through a lot of features. If there's anything I forgot or whatnot, I'll go through it in this. I'll try and go through it in the next episode as that will be technically fresh new content. Uh, other than that, I will see you later, friends. Bye.